Friday the 2nd of June, 2023. First reading. Reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let us praise illustrious men, our ancestors in their successive generations. Some have left no memory and disappeared as though they had not existed. They are now as though they had never been, and so too their children after them. But here is a list of generous men whose good works have not been forgotten. In their descendants there remains a rich inheritance born of them. Their descendants stand by the covenants and, thanks to them, so do their children's children. Their offspring will last forever. Their glory will not fade. Responsorial Psalm The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new psalm to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the Book of Mark After he had been acclaimed by the crowds, Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. He looked all round him, but as it was now late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Next day as they were leaving Bethany, he felt hungry. Seeing a fig tree and leaf some distance away, he went to see if he could find any fruit on it. But when he came up to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he addressed the fig tree. May no one ever eat fruit from you again, he said. And his disciples heard him say this. So they reached Jerusalem and he went into the temple and began driving out those who were selling and buying there. He upset the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those who were selling pigeons. Nor would he allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he taught them and said, Does not scripture say, My house will be called the house of prayer for all the peoples, but you have turned it into a robber's den. This came to the ears of the chief priests and the scribes, and they tried to find some way of doing away with him. They were afraid of him because the people were carried away by his teaching. And when evening came, he went out of the city. Next morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered to the roots. Peter remembered. Look, Rabbi, he said to Jesus, the fig tree you cursed has withered away. Jesus answered, have faith in God. I tell you solemnly, if anyone says to this mountain, get up and throw yourself into the sea, with no hesitation in his heart but believing that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. I tell you therefore, everything you ask and pray for, believe that you have it already and it will be yours. And when you stand in prayer, forgive whatever you have against anybody, so that your Father in heaven may forgive your failings too. But if you do not forgive, your Father in heaven will not forgive your failings either. Gospel of the Lord